In this video, I'm going to go over the G.I. Joe ground support equipment project I've been working on. I'll cover some of the inspiration that inspired the project, how the HasLab Sky Striker project has me excited about this side project. I'll go over some of the progress I've made and then talk about some of the next steps I want to take. In the G.I. Joe comic, there's not much talk about the ground crews that support the aircraft or the vehicles, really. There's some brief images of it, but nothing much really. But I've always found this really fascinating. All the equipment, the gear, the engines being removed from airplanes, the carts that hold this stuff up, loading and unloading of ammunition, all that stuff seems really interesting. And it's this downtime between battle that seems to be a great sort of story to tell when you're working on a diorama. You know, the support of the plane, getting it ready for battle, or dealing with some of the damage it might have taken during battle. And so if you're working on model kits, like airplanes at 148th scale or 135th kind of tank kits and things like that, there's plenty of ground support, crew, and equipment stuff for your model kits. But G.I. Joe really lacks anything in that area. There is the tractor that came with the flag and the fuel tank thing that it could pull behind it, but that's really it. And if you didn't get a flag... You got to go on eBay, and those things are pretty expensive right now. And then something happened that I don't think anybody thought was going to happen. Hasbro decided to do a G.I. Joe HasLab. And the HasLab is for the Sky Striker, but it's not really just a vehicle. It's the jet itself. But then also support equipment, very similar to the equipment that came with the flag, the tractor vehicle, and the fueling vehicle. Except the tractor is kind of transformed into this sort of weapons transport kind of carrier. And on top of that, they're offering two crew members for your ground crew as stretch goals. And these are just amazing sort of like guys you always see in those dioramas or on the, you know, the deck of a carrier kind of signaling a plane when to take off and when to land. But then on top of that, they just added three more Cobra figures to the group. And one of them has, happens to be a Cobra Snake Pit crew member who is a ground crew member for supporting your, you know, G.I. Joe Cobra Sky Striker. But I'm totally going to use this guy to support my Rattlers. I mean, I want, I want like four or five or six of these guys. So the first thing I started doing was sketching, kind of thinking of the things I really wanted. One was just a kind of general cart that could get pulled around and carry a motor or ammunition or ordnance or anything like that. And the second was a ladder, more like a ladder that could be rolled into place and then a crew member could stand on it and work on things, um, get out of the, uh, you know, the aircraft or the vehicle. The, uh, the cart itself, I wanted to make... Um, Kind of like the way the, the traditional ones were made, just kind of like one piece and then like wheels that would pop on. I thought that'd be kind of fun and it's something I hadn't tried before. So just making this kind of hollow inner part and then just pretty much a flat bed cart that had these sort of support things on the side so stuff wouldn't roll off. So I just went about modeling those, um, printed them out, uh, hit them with some UV light and they hardened up and... Um, you know, everything like looked pretty good. The first set of ladders I made was a little bit small. It was a little bit too narrow and um, that just didn't feel right. And also the handrail wasn't, didn't feel right. The cart though, like I really liked how it came out first pass. It felt like a good size and it rolled okay. This is the second ladder I made. It's a little bit wider and the railing felt really good. So I decided to stick with that one. Of course, now that I had the stuff printed, I couldn't let it just sit around on my desk. So I grabbed a bunch of my Joes and cleared off the kitchen floor and made some little setups. Um, I was really thinking about the dioramas that inspired this and got me excited. And thinking about the stuff that came with the HasLab. Like I really liked that, you know, their, the HasLab comes with a ladder. But I really felt like this static kind of ladder allowed characters like Jinx here and Snake Eyes to kind of stand next to the aircraft at height and interact with it and make it look like a way that like Gung Ho and Toll Booth had gotten up onto the X-30. And here you can see Shipwreck driving the G.I. Joe weapons transport and pulling the little cart. I decided to make the cart compatible with that and this allowed me to not have to worry about creating a tractor, though I think I might want to make a tractor that looks more traditional like some of the ones on carriers. The last piece was an engine I wanted to make with an attach point so that you could hook it with the Wolverine crane I'd created or any other kind of lifting device. And this way you could put it on the cart, make it look like you're positioning it into the airplane or you know, however you want to use it. I did notice that the HasLab Sky Striker has removable engines, so I might make a cradle or something that those could sit in so you can lift those up too. And we can't forget Cobra, so this stuff should all work with Cobra. For the cart, I didn't really make it compatible with anything, so 
I was thinking the ferret would be a perfect vehicle to pull that around on, but I'll need to work out some kind of hook or something you can attach that to. But the engines look like they're the perfect size for the sort of like turbofan jets that would go into the Rattler. The ladders themselves are a little too tall. I didn't realize how short the Rattler is. It really, the stance is like really low when the landing gear's down. So I'm thinking I want to make, you know, this version of the ladder at this height, but also one that's maybe half as height and maybe even a little wider and more of a platform. And then talking about like what else I want to do, I'd like to do a V8 diesel engine along with that jet engine so you could feel like you were pulling the engine out of one of your tanks or vehicles like, you know, whatever it is, like a mauler or a Mobat or something like that. And then maybe a work table where you could show um, the engines or different components maybe that it could come with, with um, you know, being broken down and worked on with tools and stuff like that. And I think that would round it out and make, make for a really fun set to set up some different dioramas. I'm really excited with how this project's coming along. I think it adds a lot of playability to the aircraft and the figures and the different vehicles. And I think it gets back to that storytelling that dioramas do that was kind of the roots of G.I. Joe and a lot of the guys like Ron Rudat who, you know, really made G.I. Joe what it is and were inspired by model kits and dioramas and that kind of military history. And then there's the HasLab. I mean, who would have thought that G.I. Joe was going to get HasLab this year? And they're bringing the O-ring back. Just amazing. And we're getting the ground support vehicles, the parachutes, all the ordnance, all those effects, all the different like figures. And we're even getting Cobra guys so we can support our Rattlers and our Mambas and our, you know, Hiss tanks and whatever we want to end up doing. So I'm just super excited. Hope you guys are too. Hope we can help get the word out, get more people into this and smash through all the stretch goals. It's pretty crazy how this lines up with the project I was working on, but it's just that much more energizing. So hope you guys enjoyed the video talking about this project and yo Joe.